I'm Mike Potts, founder and CEO at Street Drone, one of the UK's leading autonomous vehicle and software companies. Using simulation to validate our autonomous software has always been incredibly important to us, and today, alongside our simulation software partners at IPG Automotive, we're really excited to unveil a new way that we are fusing these two pioneering technologies together. You'll probably know something about both autonomy and simulation already, and if you don't, we'll explain more in a moment. But what's really exciting is meshing these capabilities together in new ways in order to get better results. And we're going to show you how this work has the capability to get safe, autonomous vehicles onto the road more quickly. IPG makes some of the world's very best simulation software, and it's used by many vehicle manufacturers all over the world. Most simulation has in the past been confined to running virtual vehicles in virtual environments, but IPG simulation tools now allow virtual testing to be conducted on physical vehicles running on test tracks by injecting virtual objects into the real world. I'll let Elliot explain more. Imagine if you're doing a pedestrian AEB test and you need a physical vehicle and a pedestrian dummy and then some obstacles behind which to hide the dummy. All of that becomes virtual except for the ego car. And that means your setup time and your operations are significantly faster. So we're talking a two week test suite, perhaps down to about four days. So dramatic efficiencies. So IPG simulation tools have made the testing and validation of regular vehicles far quicker and save vehicle manufacturers lots of time and money. But imagine if we went a step further and replaced a manually driven vehicle with an autonomous vehicle. Could we use IPG's tech to improve Street Drone's tech even further? Together, we put our best engineers on the case. So there are three parts in this project. The first one is the simulation, which is the car maker. In the simulation, we have uh, the vehicle model of the actual Street Drone in V200. We have simulated sensors and also we have a virtual world and multiple scenarios, of course, to run in. The second bit is the actual car, which is the Street Drone ENV200. It's a real car, it's a drive-by-wire vehicle, it's um, an autonomous ready car that we have used quite a lot in the past. And then the third part is the Aslan software. The Aslan software runs in ROS, the robot operating system. What we have done in this project is we have developed a bridge between the Aslan software and CarMaker. We are simulating the sensors in CarMaker and we are processing the data from these sensors in the Street Run software, the Aslan software. So today we've successfully integrated one of our autonomous Nissan EMV200s operating in the real world into IPG's CarMaker simulator. For us, this is a big step forward in rapidly and cost-effectively proving the safety of our autonomous solutions for our customers. I'll leave the last word to our engineers. This is very beneficial because you can calibrate your controllers, you can calibrate uh, your algorithms, you can calibrate your sensors, and in the end have a robust and reliable software stack, which is essentially what all of the autonomous vehicle providers are looking to achieve.